Hi, I'm Anja Nykren, Professor of Global Develop Development Studies at the University of Helsinki. In this video, we have possibilities to reflect upon the linkages between climate, climate justice, environmental vulnerability and social inequality. These relationships are often complex and contradictory. As we can see in this picture, taken at the front of the central market of San Jose, the capital of, of Costa Rica. Uh, in, this, in the popular art in the door, uh, it emphasizes e equality. However, beside there is a sign which prohibits the access of informal traders to the marketplace. I have carried out long-term ethnographic research in different parts of Latin America, especially in Mexico, on environmental vulnerability and social inequality. In this video, we will focus on the case of the city of Villahermosa in southeastern Mexico. Villahermosa has about one million inhabitants. It is situated on the wetlands uh, at the crossroads of uh, big rivers. Uh, most part of Villa Hermosa is located uh, less than 10 meters above the sea level. Due to this location, Villa Hermosa is exposed to uh, extreme hydrometeorological uh, events and catastrophic floods. As in many other parts of Latin America, Villa Hermosa is a socially segregated city where people belonging to different socioeconomic positions live separately. Some people live in gated uh, residential areas, while others live in poor, marginalized neighborhoods which have limited water, sanitation, and healthcare services. Many of these neighborhoods also suffer from a uh, different kind of violence. And people have limited possibilities to get uh, adequate education. The state has for a long time tried to control the flood risks by building dams, stretching the rivers, raising embankments and flood walls, and building interconnection channels. Also, floods have been recorded in Villa Hermosa since 19th century. In recent decades, the floods have been uh, exceptionally dev devastating. A catastrophic flood occurred in Villa Hermosa in 2007 when 62% of the city was inundated. The area was declared to be a catastrophic uh, crisis area. And the main street of, of Villa Hermosa looked like the, this one. According to local people, uh, the control of floods through env environmental engineering is not necessarily the most sustainable way of flood governance. Uh, the Grijalva River that runs through Villa Hermosa was earlier much wider, but in recent decades it, have, it has been filled and constructed. According to local people, the river takes revenge if you try to control it too much. The river has a memory and it always searches her courses. In our research project, we have organized different kind of participatory social cartographic and urban planning workshops where people have been able to tell about the uh, settlement history of their neighborhood, of environmental and social changes occurred, of how people have recovered from from floods 
and what kind of urban planning they consider important. Although people are poor, they have right to love to live in beautiful places. They also should have right to claim for more transparent and socially uh, fair forms of urban planning. These people have lived with water abundance for decades. According to them, it is difficult to tame water for human uh, control. Rather, rather, they emphasize that it's important to learn to live with water. At the same time, these people emphasize that you should not allow marginality and marginalizing forms of uh, governance to take over so that you uh, lose your capability to, to wait for a better future and to dream. As this popular art says, feed. Why would I need them if I have wings to fly?